Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Okay. I, yesterday, I was watching a video from Badger Workshop, a gentleman from over across the pond. And he's one that I watch all the time. Um, and he's actually pretty interesting, nice little shop, very small. But he did, he pulled a trick while I was watching him work. And he pulled a trick that I had been, I'd known about it for years. I've used it many times. But it's one of those things that you get in the back of your mind, you forget that you even know it. So now that he brought this to the forefront, I thought I would share this great little tip with you. And I think it'll help you understand a little better how to find the centering on a board. Uh, the whole thing is, it's all about finding the center of this board. And we're going to draw a line on this board. And first, let's talk about uh, how you normally would do it. Well, I know how I would normally do this line, the easy peasy way. Is I just would take my combination square or any depth gauge. Yes, that's my new one. And I can sit here, mark it to about center, measure it out, draw a line, flip it over, and draw a secondary line. Now, <clears throat> and then the distance between the two, somewhere in there, right in the center of those two lines, it's center. The more you move the ruler back and forth till you get it adjusted. So when you go one way, you get a line, turn it around, and you draw over it, and it draws over the same line, then you know you're dead center. Now, I have done a little homework. I've already set this to the exact center of this board. And I've done that so that we can verify what I'm going to do here. Because I'm going to make a center line on this board, and I'm going to do it. I can do it one of several different ways. I could use this method, which is my most common way of finding it. But sometimes you're out in the field and you don't have a depth gauge with you. Well, there's an old speed square trick of how to do it. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. But not only can I do it with a speed square finding the center, I can also do it with a 30-60 triangle or, believe it or not, with a piece of scrap wood. And I will find and draw a center line on this using only this to do it. Or maybe I'll even do half and half. I'll do half of it with this and half of it with that to make a line. And then you'll see it. It doesn't matter. This thing is 37 degrees. I just arbitrarily cut it just for this demonstration. This is a 3060. And this is a 45. And I don't care which one you use. You'll have the same result. Let me show you. The theory is, is that you want to take that angle, whatever it is, when you use a triangle, whether it's a speed square or just a regular triangle or a scrap of wood, you got that square corner. That's what you want. It's got to have that square corner for the triangle. Now I can take that and use this to mark a center. And what you do is you take your triangle and you line it up with your board like so so that I have an established angle right there and it's set here and it's set here and now all I do is I take a pencil a good marking the sharper the better marking knife mechanical pencil anything a scripto fine point and you draw your line on it then you take now what we're doing is that we want this line here so this corner lined up to this corner to establish where this center point is along this line, we reverse it. We take this corner of the triangle now, and we flip it and put it on this side, on this corner, on the other side. Now, line it up, just like we did the other one, like so, and draw a line this way. Whoops. That's why I don't like mechanical pencils. I'm always breaking it. I'm a heavy... <laughs> I'm heavy, so I'd probably be a natural for using a marking knife. But then, lo and behold, with just a scrap piece of wood, there it is, the center. What? You don't think that's the center? Okay. I told you I set this there exactly half the thickness ahead of time. Check it out. See, it comes out right at that X. Now I put it on this side. And I'd be hard-pressed for you to tell me those two don't look alike. So, anyway, I know it's hard for you to see it, but that tells me where a center line is. Then I can do it again. 
Now that I've done it on this end, we're going to do it on this end. But just for fun, I'll do the other one with a different triangle. This is a 3060. That was 37 degrees. So now, this is our face. This is the end of the board we want to do. I take one corner, set my triangle in place, like so. And I draw my line. And there's my line. So now I flip it. So now I want to do it on this one. So I line it up, make sure everything's nice and lined up. And now I have my second line there. And well, they look pretty close to me. So now all I have to do I can get this lined up perfectly. And now I have a center line. And I use nothing more than a scrap piece of wood to do it. The key is, is that you want to measure on your, as long as your board is square. If your ends aren't square, then you have to use a reference line that would be square to that. So in other words, <coughs> The end wasn't square here, and I wanted to do the same thing with this. All I would do is I would set this up and draw a line that I know is now square to the two sides, and I would reference off of that anytime I line up to make my marks. Then I would just line up to there. So if you're in the middle of a board and you're trying to do this, obviously you can't use the end of the board. So just mark your line. Make sure that that's a, a perpendicular line. And as long as that is, that can be that gives you your two corner points to be able to reference with the corner of your triangle. And you can still do it even in the middle of a board. So um, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, I just thought it was kind of neat when I was watching that uh, badger. And he did it using his speed square. That's what brought it back to life. Because I know it's a trick that you can that you can learn from using that. But I thought I'd take it a step further and show you that when you think outside the box, heck, I can even do it with just a scrap piece of wood if I want to. And would I do that? I don't know. I doubt it. But it's it tells you to think outside the box and maybe you can get something done without doing it in the conventional way and you find a quicker, shorter way to do things simply because I cut corners and not going and get something. I just used what I had right there and got the job done. So, quick little tip how to use a triangle. Anyway, I hope you like this. Any comments, any ideas? Uh, if you have some experience, something you want to talk about, we all would love to read it. So, just leave it in the comments. If you learned something here, or you like this video, hit that like button. Let's me know. Yeah, you're doing okay. Most importantly, come back because I'm nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.